Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to check our main and rod bearing clearances with plastic gauge. So see down here, this is what you go to get at AutoZone or O'Reilly's. It comes in this big container. It's just a piece of paper. And this one says one thousandths to three thousandths inch range. That's the one we want to use. It's green. Always start with this one and work your way up to the bigger sizes like the red or the blue. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It fills the whole uh, paper up. Anyways, we're going to take this and take off our main cap, which will be this one here. This is the one we're going to check. Set it down. Check for the width. And use your fingernail. Break it off. And carefully set it down. First, you need to wipe it with the rag. Uh, you don't want any oil. It's okay to have oil on the bottom of the other area, but not on this area where you put this plastic gauge. Okay. It's pretty straight in there. Alright. Now we're going to put our bearing in. Main cap. Okay. So this has to be wiped also. This area up in here. Don't let that have any oil. Okay, then you set it down. Be careful to notice these arrows. They all have arrows that points to the front. Don't forget. On the bolt? This is the arrow right here. It looks like an arrow. It has a tail and a little head, just like a Native American's arrow. You also should not confuse these. They're numbered one, two, three, four, five with the stamp. These are the ones you see here. Here's an example of the number. It says number one. You can see. Okay. So all we do is torque to the specification. So these bolt, you just dip it in oil, stick it in here, and we found for this engine we need uh, 65 foot pounds on these bolts. How do you know if it's 65 foot-pounds? We use this uh, torque wrench and read what it says. All right. So here's our scale. You can see as we tighten it, it shows larger and larger amounts. Okay, so we're done on this one. Next one. There's two bolts per this engine has two, that's right. And there's four of those. Alright, yes. So what you're going to do now is you're going to rip off a little piece. We have millimeter on this side, we have inch on this side. So I already ripped one off. We've got it right here. Now I need to take the bolts off. The purpose of tightening it was to squeeze the little plastic gauge. And the more squashed it is, the tighter the clearance will be. Let's see how what was the torque measurement you wanted to do? 65 foot pounds. For both bolts? Yes. And it's the same for the other three? Yes. However, these are smaller. For later when you do your connecting rod uh, journal clearance, that was, uh, I believe, 60 foot pounds on those. Some engines have it only 45. Okay, now we take it off. See what it looks like. You can see a mark both on the, the cap and the journal. The lighting's not so very So now good. we take our little piece of paper and Stick it in there. Let's see, what number does that appear to be? It's the smallest one? <clears throat> Looks like the smallest one. So let's see what's our smallest one here. We've got one thousandths, one and a half, two thousandths, three thousandths. 
So this one has about 3,000 clearance, which is fine. You couldn't see because of your finger shadow. So we've, we've already done it to these other two, so we can take a look at these. See what the clearance we have on the other ones. Hopefully we'll be similar. Okay, this one, let's look at this one first. Let's see. Does that width look about the same? The width of that uh, green about the same? Yeah. the white one? Okay. So that is also the 3,000th marker, so let's come over to here to see the next one. Similar situation. This one might be slightly tighter. Maybe two and a half thousandths, which is okay. What's the unit? Uh, thousandths of an inch. So, 0 0.0025 inch, 0 0.003 inch. What is it supposed to be? The little book we had, it showed from 0 0.001 to 0 0.003 was okay. So, so far so good. And here's this other one here. Looks like... You also need to check all the way across. Don't just check in one spot. Looks pretty uniform. Three thousandths on this one. So we're okay. Now uh, next This one looks tapered. Does it matter? Oh, okay. If it's tapered, the part where it's uh, a little skinnier means it's a little bit more worn out on there. We see a little bit of ridge kind of stuff going on there. That's probably alright though. Now to remove it we can just take our fingernail, put a little cloth on there, and scratch it off. See, it comes right off. You're removing the plastic gauge now? Yeah. The squished one? Yes. And that's all there is to it, so very good. And you use the same technique on your connecting rods. Just put the little, put the plastic gauge here, put the rod cap on, tighten it down, take it off, and do it just like before. Uh, and that's all there is to it. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.